Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for just being there, showing love and support towards yourselves as well as other people, pushing out love and light and positivity. And that's just a beautiful thing and we need to keep at it because there's just too many crazy things going on around here and we need more positive things happening. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already. What are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you, and you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And I'll I hope you're able, to, yeah, you're able to resonate with content on video. Thanks for showing love and support. <laughs> but anyways, um, the peaceful meditation music I'm listening to today, and I love it because it has Buddha on the front of it, and I'm just watching him with meditating. And um, the meditation music is called Inner Peace and Balance Deep Meditation Music, Healing Music, Relaxing Mind and Body, and Soothing and Relax. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocus, keep pushing. Um, the unjust will be just. You know, we can go through so many different things. And, you know, there's been people out there abused us. We have dealt with uh, narcissistic behavior. We've probably been a little bit narcissistic ourselves from just the narcissistic influences or things we probably got exposed to and we really didn't know we were not narcissistic. But it's just nowadays... You know, there's so many things, you know, I've went through and I can get upset, you know, and it's just like, you know, how can things go off this long? You know, how come people are not being held responsible for the things they're doing? You know, I'm being held responsible for the things I've done, you know, and you can really think that and be hurt. You know, it's just like people go out their way to hurt you and be really devilish, you know, and it's just like, you know, I had to talk to certain people that, you know, I had certain situations that went on and you have to really look at things the way they truly are you know and it's just like you know when people bring a lot of hell to your life especially when you know hurt people go hurt people i had to realize that hurt people will go hurt people they might make you think that everything's fine and dandy but when you've got to go out your way to try to bring drama to, towards somebody's life that really is not you know just their presence well enough alone can just bring conflict to their life because obviously you're you're in, you know you're an intimidation of somebody you know when things like this happens or you know um they fear you or they you might make them feel like they're less inferior so people bring like drama to your life people have been, been abusive to you but trust and believe things will come back on them you know things that you know we sometimes we try to expose people for what they are you know i found myself doing that with my family and stuff like that but i just feel like you know what I said, what I had to say. I'm not going to keep talking about them because I feel like, you know, you don't have to expose fakeness in folks, you know. Um, it'll expose themselves, you know, that things will usually come out by themselves. You know, you plant that seed and, you know, it just gets the grump. <laughs> so it's just a lot of times when we go through things and, you know, it feels like life can be very unfair, which it can seem very unfair, but you never know what's going behind the curtains. You never know what karma is being fixed up on them for them putting you through the things that they have gone you know that you're going through because it's just like sometimes i can see a post is like be careful how you treat people or um because life has a funny way of you know exposing you or life has a funny way of giving you back what you have gave to other people or make you know put them through something that you know life has a funny way of putting you through the same things you don't put others through so it's just like sometimes we have to be patient with stuff like that. And I know it can be very hard because it's just like I'm like Medea. 
I ain't got time to be waiting on that. I want them to get got right now. <laughs> you know, so you just really can't be that way because you have to be patient with it because, you know, it's just like how when you wish bad things on people, and especially, you know, I've learned the hard way we can wish bad things on people, especially the ones that push you into that that predicament to make you want to wish something bad on them. It usually comes back to you because when they do that, that's their, you know, their karma and what how you respond to it is yours so it's just like sometimes i have to keep it closed closed mouth knowing i'm ready to pop off of the mouth or ready to throw a left hook or whatever but it's just like you know i said you know what try to put yourself in their position you know they they really must think highly of you to go out their way to try to hurt you or they must really fear you or fear what did what people know about you or how people are perceive you you know people even throw dirt in your name or try to make you look bad in front of folks you know just because they they can't stand what's right about you you know and it's just like you have to keep going you have to keep pushing it's just like we you know i've like i said i've read a lot of comments where people have you know experienced a lot of hurt and pain in their life and you know you try to understand and try to put your sleep not even try to understand but get a concept on reason why you had to go through the things you had to go through experience with those people but it's like if you're no longer going through that no more it cannot really affect you but it really can if you you know if you have not come to terms with it and heal from it you know but you have to tell yourself you know if these things are no longer happening these things can no longer hurt you it's just the 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 experience and the memory they can and you, that's when you have to separate the motion from the memory and just go ahead and let it be because there's a lot of things I'm still healing from that might seem fresh to me that you know it's starting to come into play like what had really truly happened in a certain situations and it might make me sometimes feel sick to my stomach on certain things that has happened but I know I have to come to terms with it saying okay this did happen to me as an you know as a teen or as a child but I only um can just you know come to terms with it and heal with it and know that this cannot no longer hurt me this does not no longer have a meaning towards my life but knowing that I can heal from it and it's brought me a lot of promising things in my life you know that's all I can really deal with so when you experience things in your life and you know that things have been very unjust for you trust and believe sooner or later it's going to be just for you so I hope you are able to resonate with content in my video. I know I'm sitting sideways. Y'all want to sit. I usually sit, you know, uh, either lotus flower position or <laughs> sit Indian style. But a sister legs is hurting because I've been exercising so much and I'm so stiff and sore. So this is the only comfortable way I can actually sit without having to grunt so much. So I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend and be responsible at everything you do. And I miss y'all and I love y'all and sending y'all some uplift. Li uplifting healing vibes loving vibes and comforting vibes if you truly need them and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can it, it doesn't hurt to do that so um i will see you on my next video my post notification shout out let me go ahead and give me a shout out to somebody today um who am i going to give a shout out to today um I'm not gonna talk to today to today. Um, Jade Lyman, I hope you're doing um, great, sis. Much love to you and everything you do, and sending you some uplifting uh, vibes your way if you truly need them. And y'all, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Know that you are blessed, highly loved, and truly favored, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And you know like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line i love the chance to get to know you and i will see you on my next video peace and be wow